Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, The Growing Developer. And finally, after seven months gap, we are back. And as you can see that these are some, there are some big studio upgrades from my side. I'll make a video on that as well. So it's been possible only because of your love, support and appreciation. So yeah, thank you all for that. And uh, without wasting any of the time, let's jump into our topic, which is streams. Now stream is something which is equally complex at times, but equally important in our professional world and is very high in demand. Wherever you are applying for Flutter job, they always expect you to have some knowledge about the streams. And not to mention that uh, most of the popular uh, architecture, most of the popular patterns like block pattern is based on streams. So it's important for us to understand the stream. So I've tried to make this tutorial as simple as possible. So without wasting any time, let's just jump into this uh, topic. And I've created a presentation for you to make it easily understandable. So yeah, let's start. The growing developer. So let's just suppose for simplicity that this boat right here is our data and we want to pass this data from one place to another. That's exactly what we do in our applications, right? And then whatever we add in a stream of water from one end travels to the other end, just like this boat. So some points here, let's just think of stream as a stream of water. They can be many streams, right? Once we receive this data, which is this boat, we can use the data accordingly in our UI. Now, this boat is our data and in this stream we can see that we have two ends one is the starting and the other is the the way the place where we are getting the boat so technically speaking we have two important terms in while we are facing the streams which is sync and then the stream itself let's see with that diagram so as you can see that sync is to the left and stream is to the right so sync is a place is uh, where we can add the data. If you see the boat example, the place where the boat started is the sync. We added the boat there and the place and the place where we got the boat is the stream, right? In between, you can see that we have a stream controller. Now, what is the stream controller? This stream needs to be handled somehow, right? We'll talk about the controller methods in later part of this video. Let's understand this by some code uh, regarding this code. We have nothing just this text. We have you have pushed the button this many times and a button which does nothing and we'll try to add some data into the stream here as you can see in the to do. Okay, initially two concepts. So initially we need two things. One is the stream controller. Other is the stream. Why the stream controller first? Let's see. So we use this late stream controller my stream controller equals to stream controller if you wish you can also give types to the stream controller right now i'm going with dynamic type only next is our stream my stream equals to my stream controller sorry what is happening to my typing right now you can see that why I used stream controller first and then the stream the stream is a part of stream controller itself. So we get the stream from a stream controller. So stream controller is possible for making streams for us. Now, as you know that we have two po points for the stream controller, which is stream and the other part is sync where we add the data. Let's try to add some data into the stream, right? Into our stream controllers sync. How do we do that? Adding the data into our streams, right? Let's learn about that. So we can write my stream controller dot sync dot 
add and inside that we can add whatever we want we can have as many types as possible like our custom data types and the primary data types as well so let's just add an integer value which is 2 suppose just for simplicity right now that's it we are able to add the data into the stream this is how we are going to add the data into our streams right other part is to get this data we'll talk about that in a bit so I want to show you something right let's say I want to print whatever I'm adding to the stream okay so I'll try something like my stream dot first dot to string okay let's restart this application once I restart this application let me try to click on this button first time as you can see that I got instance of future dynamic because stream is going to give you something in some near future right next thing is what happens if I try to click on it again I'm clicking on it again now I got the exception that the stream has already been listened to what is this listening involved and what is this listening by the way right so that brings up to our new topic which is stream subscription okay let's let's understand this subscription and then we'll move on to how to get over this day uh, this error right so let's continue with the presentation that we left so after this we have just like the YouTube subscription we can also subscribe to the streams that we are so that we are always up to date and the method that we can use is listen okay so let's take a moment and pause here so just like this YouTube subscription you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest videos and as I can promise that we are going to be much more consistent and all these complex topics are to be there so it's very important you you press the bell icon as well so that you never miss any video so how to use this listen method right let's see so in our init state what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my stream dot listen you can see that inside our listen method we have a callback which is the event it gives us the event and then let's just try to print this event okay simple right so what is happening what happens inside this listen method so we are saying that whenever we are listening to the stream whatever happens in our stream whatever data is being added we should be able to do something with the data otherwise what is the purpose of adding any data so we are listening to the event and then we are printing the events whatever we add in a stream is known as event right it can be an integer it can be any string any value so let's see what happens right so I'll remove this print statement from here just comment it out and I want to restart it once let's restart this application and see what happens I click on it two gets print out I click on it again you can see two is getting printed as many as time I'm adding anything to it so this listen method is known as stream subscription or subscription let's see how we can make the variables out of it so we can write it something as stream subscription my subscription and then we can say that my subscription equals to this right now this listen method returns a stream subscription we'll talk about the subscription in later part of this video let's try to listen this again okay I listened it once let's try to listen it again so I'm again listening to this and this time instead of printing the event itself I'm going to print event multiply by 2 
So if I'm adding two, it should print four. Okay, makes sense. Let's restart this once again. Okay, stream has already been listened to. We got the exception, why? Because we are not broadcasting the stream. The stream can be listened only once by default. So how to get over this error? Or suppose we are listening to the same data in different pages as well. So one way is with the stream, I can say as broadcast stream. Now what happens is that this converts the stream into broadcast streams so that our compiler knows that we can listen to the stream multiple times. So let's restart this once again. Error is gone. Now let's try to click on this uh, button. If I click on this button, you can see that first two gets printed and then the four get prints, uh, gets printed. So we are able to listen to this stream multiple times, right? So the topics that uh, we have learned so far is streams, how to add data into the stream, how to listen to the data, right? Now one variable gets unnoticed here, which is this my subscription, right? The stream subscription here. What is this and why was there a need to make a variable out of it, a class out of it? Well, it has its own useful methods, which is onto your screen, pause, stop, right? Or cancel. What happens is, what if after some, at some point, after some time, I don't want to listen to the stream anymore. So I can cancel the subscription altogether, right? The stream subscription has its own methods, the listen method, which is, let me show you here. On done, on error, cancel on error. Suppose there is some error while we are listening to the stream. So it, by default, it just cancels the uh, subscription. We can set it to false so that even if there is any error, we can get over it and uh, like continue the subscription. How to add errors into our stream? Now there can be some possibility that we want to add the error now we don't want to listen it or we want the ui to be aware that okay there is some error okay so what we can do is i'll just show you the implementation so into our stream add error and then we can pass the error and similarly if we say that it should cancel on error right now this is set to false by default it is true so if we set it to true then the subscription gets cancelled altogether okay so this is how we can add the errors into our stream the next part is how to uh, update the ui according to the data right now we understood that we can add the data into the sync and then we can listen to the events using the listen method from the stream now to update the ui accordingly we have a widget which is stream builder now stream builder has its own property and needs to be discussed in detail that should be in our next video right now let's try to uh, manipulate a variable according to the data that we are getting okay so let's see so let's create a variable in integer which is int data and initial value is zero so what we're going to do is instead of printing it, we will say data equals to event. Now we are passing only integer values, so they should work. Okay. And then uh, let's just remove this listener from here and let's just not add any error. Okay. And we need to use this variable as well, this data variable. So in here, let's just convert this text change this text to the data added is dollar sign and then we say data okay so whatever data gets added is to be shown here let's remove this const error. and let's restart this application once so we get the data added is zero let's try to add an event which is on click of this floating action button click and still we are clicking on it 
and the data is not getting updated because this needs to be into set state okay my bad set state okay just got this and print paste it here restart this once again and it gets updated so the data added is 2 so it is getting updated from our site so this way we can manipulate it all together in many ways and so I think that's all for today's tutorial hope you are able to understand the stream a bit so as we move on to the later part of this uh, journey of the stream tutorials we will be able to understand this more clearly so this was uh, a basic overview about the functions of the streams i'll try to make a written tutorial on the website https the growing developer.org so that way it will be easy for you to get uh, like keep a track of it with via videos as well as the written tutorials so hope you like this video and uh, please uh, any suggestions for or any specific topic that you want me to cover you can always add it into the comments and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel it's all because of your appreciation and your support that brings the best out of me and make me do these things for you right so yeah thank you all yeah so thank you so much for watching this video hope you like this video hope i'm able to give something good to you and you're and this video is of some help to you so yeah thank you once again have a nice day goodbye